Yeah, I think nowadays the with the immunotherapy in both uh, XCC and also B retract cancer, we know that we can see there is a tail in the survival curve. Uh, for example, for the uh, patient treated with uh, uh, the chamidimumab uh, plus uh, dufalumab in the Himalaya clinical trial, now we have four-year overall survival data showing that around 25% patients survive by that time when treated with this regimen. And also for the TOBAS one, we know that the two-year uh, survival rate is up to 20-something percent. Uh, so we know these are group of patients that's uh, featuring a long-term and durable survivors. How to uh, identify these patients remain to be explored. Uh, from the exploratory analysis, uh, for example, the Himalaya, for those who long with a long-term survive, who, who those who are long-term survivors, uh, we actually do not identify a subgroup that really uh, are um, standing out in the long-term survivors. Either patient with hepatitis B or C or long viral hepatitis, ECOG zero or one, they still have a chance of uh, being uh, uh, surviving at that point. And also disease burden or uh, the LB liver function or actually uh, didn't play a role in predicting response. So I think the key message is uh, try to treat our patients with uh, immunotherapy uh, or in BTC with immunotherapy plus the chemo. Um, with time, we will know who will be the long-term survivors. But the key point is to try to give, uh, give them a chance to receive uh, immunotherapy and they will be, uh, there's a pretty good chance that they will become long-term survivors.